Here in Hatfield, robots are preparing to move in with humans and help them with everyday tasks. They're being trained to distinguish between people and to tailor their behavior to individual needs. It's a companion that will be with you for weeks or months or probably even years. It needs to learn, it needs to adapt. And the particular key issue here is to recognize the user, to remember the user. Although people will be living with 10 or more robots, all of the machines share a single brain. It moves from robot to robot depending on which one is best suited for a task. Let me migrate to the pioneer. It will basically copy its personality, how we call it, the program that makes that robot behave, that is what makes the robot special, will move into that other machine, will carry out the task, and then it will move back. The robots have to be useful, but they also need to interact with humans in a natural way. There is someone at the front door. They've been designed to respect personal space and to cater to a person's need for social contact. For an introvert, social interactions can be much more tiring. And so for a home companion, this might not be such a good idea. For instance, if you had a busy day at work, you've spent a lot of your time and energy speaking with people, interacting with people. When you come home, you want to relax and you don't want the robot to, in a way, force you into a social interaction. The robot's behavior is being modeled on how a pet interacts with a person. They act as a dog would to express confidence or to seek attention. But a person can also interact with a character that looks a bit more human if their companion migrates into a virtual being. You might have a holiday house in, in Spain. You might just want to bring your companion using your mobile phone and arrive at Spain. And then you can either rent a robot there and have your companion migrate into there. In that sense, you don't have to get a new robot to train them. The team will assess if people believe they're interacting with the same companion as it jumps from machine to machine. But if all goes well, we could soon all have robots helping us with the housework.